In this video, I'll show you how to bookmark web content using Digo. So in my other tab here in Firefox, I have a web page that I think might be interesting to use in a, in a class. So I'd like to bookmark it for later use. So all I have to do is click the bookmarks button, button up here on the, uh, the Digo toolbar. And I get a pop-up box. Now one of the things that I'll point out here really quickly is that it's possible for me to make this thing pop. Uh, private. Um, if you don't check this, it's going to be public, and that's fine. I want it to be public because I'm going to want my students to look at this later. So I can put a description here, and I'll want to include some tags so that I can search for this document later. So first off, let's deal with the description, and there's a trick that I can use here to fill in that description that you might want to use. So rather than jumping right to the bookmarks, so maybe maybe I would like this text to be the description. So I could highlight it and then click bookmarks and that text becomes the description. Okay, so then of course I can add to the description if I'd like or I, I don't have to use that if I don't want. I could just put my own description. So now let's come to the tags. These are keywords that we're going to search across the library or the, the, the total bookmarks that we have trying to find this document at a later point. So I'm thinking this this uh, web page might be useful for a course called Math 127. So it's likely that I would search using that keyword. Highly possible. I also know this document has to do with Social Security. So I could search for that. Now if I just typed Social Security, then I've actually, I have a total of three tags here. Math 127, and social and security. I actually wanted social security to be one tag. And keywords are space separated so that's what's causing the problem here. So all I really need to do oh, is surround social security with quotes and now social security is a single keyword or is a single tag. So now I have two tags for this document Math 127 and social security. And I'd say that's it for right now. Just save it. And if we go to my library, we'll see this is the document that we just saved. So there are my two tags right there. And let's see, I can I have there's a couple of other options I could do with this. I can edit. I could delete it if I wanted. Well, we won't worry about share or preview. We're going to want to use edit as we move forward in the video, so let's take a peek at that one. This really, this dialog box here is just like the one that we had when we were first created the, uh, the, the bookmark. In particular, it's this option that we're going to be interested in in the next video. So if we click this, we have an option to share it with a group that we're going to create in the future. So right now I don't want to do it, and I just will cancel this. One. That's kind of a foreshadowing as to what's to come. So that's it for bookmarking. Cancel. Uh, we're done.